Taurus, welcome. The Urban Jungle Studios of David's Guide Tarot using the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot today to do your heart spread reading. Do something a little different this week. I'm going to do a timeless read. And instead of reading um, um, for you and the person that's on your mind and in your heart, I'm going to read for you and look at your relationship and in the number two position where no one would be this other person it'd be your own anima animus projection this is original original concept from Jungian psychology um, it's a projection of the idealized masculine or idealized feminine energy um, it I believe is what we see when I look at the heart spread read and looking at the first house in astrology and the seventh house and that's uh the one directly across from our descendant, our descendant house that represents relationship and often most directly and clearly represents us some aspect of what we're looking for here. And here I'm going to try a very internalized uh, reading, very uh, psychological reading, emotional maybe, um, to try to look at how that's going, uh, our, what is our relationship to the anima, animus projection our conception and um, you know how's it kind of working for us in our life so let's we'll see how it goes guys uh, thank you and Tuesday's always Gemini Cancer Day so cancers uh, we're getting your own card here um, Wow um, when you get your own card in this position in a normal reading you know I would say because this is kind of looking at where you're at personally and trying to make a baseline separate you from your other person and the normal heart spread um, some kind of reading where you're at well the same thing here um, because what we're looking at is kind of where you're at consciously where your life is at what you've been doing in terms of this anima animus now I gotta tell you I'm thinking in this particular read this might be the very best card to get maybe maybe really the best card because this is really aligning with the soul's purpose at this high level. Um, it, to me, it's uh, really a feeling like you're going places, like you're, like you probably feel like, you know, man, I'm really finally starting to get this. It's really starting to work here, guys. Um, so, um, that's a great way to start this particular reading, I tell you. Now, this is a little odd. We're looking here now, instead of your other person and how do they feel about you, but what's the nature of this anima animus that you're projecting out into the world? And maybe trying to detach it a little bit in the way of detaching you uh, originally to see how you're operating as a person here um, in general. And this is a person you're operating, your spiritual person, you're following the path, you've been doing the work. Um, and but probably what you've been drawing in is people that feel uh, like they're not good enough um, with people with a lack mentality maybe literally people that don't have a lot so uh, you know the chariots also your card I mean so you're coming in really being yourself really aligned um, everything it kind of I could just say like it, it, this is perfect perfect energy um, in terms of your uh, anima animus and yet what you're kind of getting back is not enough it's uh, and it's probably because you're drawing in people that have this lack mentality is a some core component of their personality behavior um, you know this causes so many troubles I mean shame can be tied up in this I think it's really weird um, um, you know sexuality um, the ego, um, like as someone that can even, you don't even have to be poor, they can be wealthy and, and locked into this mentality of not being a good enough, you know? <clears throat> but now it's got to speak to something in yourself here. And this is usually going to be something that's hidden, unconscious, some 12th house stuff going on. Now, this normally is how you're feeling about your other person and the heart spread. But here, this is about how are you relating to this anima animus. Again, I don't know how you could get a better card right here in this position, this particular reading, because it's a different reading. And this is, it emphasizes cooperation even in the Ethereal Visions deck. Normally, it's a good worker card. I mean, it still is. 
really emphasizes uh, co inner cooperation with other uh, people in here with your with your own energy it's like you're really working well with it too uh, this could apply to me too that you just get coming up with a dry hole like if you're trying to manifest and you're kind of like going I, you know it's like I'm doing everything right I feel good this is kind of like I think a lot of manifestation about how we feel we manifest this the we manifest feeling states a lot and um, you know um, like they say well you know uh, someone's like your mom well you might say your spouse not like your mom um, but around your person maybe you end up having the same kind of feeling that you had when you're around your mom so it's a lot about deep feelings here and, and maybe um, what you're getting is just something that's kind of deeply like not satisfying you know like even you feel like even if the people try they're just not satisfying to you now let's see this is normally the feeling of your other person how do they feel about you um, and this will be a great card to get for that um, and this knight is looking at your three of wands I gotta just say in terms of this unconscious energy of manifestation around your anima animus energy um, it it with the Knight of Pentacles, that, that's perfect looking at the Three of Pentacles. Um, again, what's hanging out here is this lack mentality. You know, it, it got to speak to some in, some energy in yourself that it maybe is unconscious or your uh, self feeling your own lack, you know. Um, it could be just around, maybe you just feel, it, you feel a lack in the ability to manifest. Um, well, if that's what this was. Um, or a lack of ability to manifest of feeling good enough. But with the Knight of Pentacles looking right back at you, you have a lot of cooperation. It's very solid. There's nothing pie in the sky here, Cancers. I, I don't know. Let me see what, uh, man, all these Pentacles, two of Pentacles. Now, this is the advice from Spirit normally uh, for how best to interact with your partner. So this is how best to interact now. Um, with your own uh, anima animus energy let me look at the uh, anima animus energy first and the six of pentacles advice from spirit normally this would be for how your person could best interact with you but this becomes a little esoteric here uh, as we think of it and as advice now and best for how do you align with this energy of anima animus and uh, I believe if we align with this and make it understand it um, then this is will allow manifestation to happen um, because we will take like conscious control over what could you know Jungian theory anything unconscious gets projected into reality and we call it fate so this is us taking and you're primed for this with the chariot I see the chariot is kind of taking advantage uh, and have very much having awareness of fate like you feel like uh, you something good is fated and you're going with it you might feel like you're in the flow but now this looks like with the two of pentacles this is your advice this is the advice of, of your anima animus and this is doing uh, under the three of pentacles cooperation and the good work balancing works not about a choice it's about balancing your life it's nuts and bolts hands-on minor kana energy here mostly except for this chariot as you come in um, but this is you taking taking things by the taking the helm, you know, and taking control of things, and bringing it into uh, this balance. And it looks incredibly doable. It's like basically saying that it's all within your hands. And this it seems to involve practical things. It's like trying to say here, Taurus. It's very Taurin, very fixed earth. I mean, look at look at the of all the cards on the table. We got six cards, so we got everything's a pinnacle, but one. Okay, and that's the major arcana. Um, <clears throat> there could be something helpful for you in terms of Cancer, wherever that is in your chart, in the Moon, wherever that is in your chart, in terms of uh, astrologer too. Yeah, I'm getting a feeling here. Um, there's something emotional that you're not seeing. I'm feeling the moon card, too. We do have the two of cups on the bottom of the deck. Do read that in this reading now. 
to be seriously trying to manifest love. Yeah, five of cups. I, I was saying there's a lack of cups here. There's some kind of emotional part of yourself. That sounds corny. I get a clarifier. See if I can get something more. Um, there's some. If, if, I'm, I'm thinking you might identify by now. I get the feeling like you got it like just about right, but there's something emotional. It, it's like a. It's something that, like, there's cysts in the body that get sealed over and you don't even, unless you get a surgery or something, notice them. You don't even know they're there after a while. And this could be something like that. Like, you kind of sealed over this. It could be even, like, childhood stuff. It has to do with manifestation. And it has to do, something to do with the lack mentality. Not feeling that you have enough. You know, and you look like maybe you have enough, but it's been like really hard won. That's the two of pentacles. I want to say all of this, the three of pentacles, the six of pentacles, even the knight, you know, um, is a hard won uh, stability and, you know, um, uh, control over your life. You know, cherry can be control over your life too. Um, but it's like hard won. Like nobody gave you anything. You earn this through the sweat of your brow. There's something emotional down uh, in the IC, in the moon. IC is also the moon. In your chart, the very bottom, um, too. Wow. So very most likely this has to do with a marriage. So very most likely, guys, you uh, in the past, could be way in the past, I don't know. There was a marriage that ended and you may think you've got a handle on it it's come and gone taurus i mean cancers um we get a lot of taurus energy i keep saying that so uh, i'm sorry i keep saying taurus but everything's part of a reading right the main thing uh, with taurus you've got here in this area 12 uh, 14 degrees 12 degrees now yeah it's exact on my venus um and Taurus and, and Cancer energy go together so well. Um, but there's just all kind of stuff here about stability. I see just you being really aligned with your um, projections of your anima or animus. Um, you, it would seem like someone even if you kind of know what you want. Um, you're feeling probably good about it. Um, it's just this thing like maybe that that stuff to have to do with the marriage the emotional part of it whatever got you i had three of them so i could go to a number of places with that and you know maybe that's just affecting this you know and how it would affect it it's like uh probably how it would affect it it's like whatever happened here and emotionally it's sort of like still that like still strong in you um you would go well, i'm not gonna let that happen again and so in terms of what you're trying to project here as your anima animus, it's maybe becoming more about, ah, that makes sense with the Five of Pentacles. The problem with it is, it's you're focusing on what you don't want, okay? Focus on what you want. Like, never say for manifestation what you don't want. And with an anima and animus, I think it's the same way. If you're gonna take control of it and take awareness of it, you know, uh, take the lesson from this and let it to turn that lesson into here's what I want anyway uh, in uh, a partner um, <clears throat> and maybe whatever got you in that marriage ha that speaks somehow to your own lack mentality um, you know we I think like unless you're superhuman you know when someone takes crap on you you, you kind of kind of go into this energy naturally like you know uh, how could they treat me like a piece of trash you know I mean, there could be outrage and anything, but it certainly wouldn't be unusual to kind of feel that uh, energy, like not feeling good enough. Why did they do this to me? And then that that could come in here and influence uh, how you project your anima animus, what you're looking for, and it ends up uh, what you get. Now, outcome, you have the empress. So I gotta say, what it seems like I, hopefully let me know I think this reading might help or maybe you're just naturally in a place right now where this is all coming together for you um, and like I said I think this is kind of like a minor tweak kind of thing and you know I keep talking about uh, Taurus uh, energy so the Empress can be Taurus too that's Venus and Taurus there 
So, um, and over here with this knight now looking right at that empress, um, this could be a knight in shining armor energy coming in too. Uh, if I, I'm just waxing for a minute into the love reading aspect of it and manifestation, you know. Um, but with an empress here as the outcome, it's also going to be you as well. Because if you draw this in, this, particularly this your anima animus, this is how you're feeling. Um, so you're drawing in somebody that's, uh, if they're uh, masculine, um, they're very... Um, mm, uh, romantic, uh, uh, very uh, maybe a little sophisticated, uh, a little debonair, this kind of energy, very charming person, uh, probably good looking if it's female, very feminine, maybe extra feminine, um, uh, someone who carries themselves with the sense of, uh, total sense of their self-worth, um, and uh, someone who is not lacking, is, has abundance, you think about it, you're bringing in this outcome is the complete opposite of this Five of Pentacles, isn't it? What's the Five of Pentacles? I don't know, it's the opposite of the Empress, I'll tell you that. So, um, I feel like this is like just kind of putting this marriage thing behind you. Maybe part of it is just realizing that <clears throat> I think you worked very hard and stuff. And maybe what you brought in in the past, people just didn't have a lot to add to your life. And now you're going to bring in someone that's basically be able to add to your life in maybe every way. And with the Knight of uh, Pentacles there, um, it might be kind of slow moving, but responsible, reliable kind of energy coming at you. Um, that, you know, what do you got? The opposite of the Five of Pentacles. So it's like a perfect outcome, guys. I think so. Uh, Give me, uh, would you, uh, cancers, a uh, like, thumbs up, tell friend, tell friend, do subscribe, and um, check out the Soul Family Read. I'll put a link here. Uh, it manifestation spirituality more than about love and romance. Uh, but uh, if you like this reading, it, it that would be right in sync with this, how I try to read uh, from that uh, more spiritual perspective, guys. So thank you.